Hey everybody, Paul Turner here with the DiscipleProject.net and welcome to The Drop where I explore the Christian music that dropped last week and how you can use it in your youth ministry this week and lots of great albums to talk about today. Before we get into those though, uh, we are 20 subscribers away from 1,000 subscribers here on the channel. would love for you to be a subscriber if you're not a subscriber already, so be sure at the end of this video to click the subscribe button and be a part of this community because we want to hear your voice. I'd also like to know what are you listening to? I only cover about three to four albums on a show here. So I'd like to know what are you listening to? What is in your playlist? Hit me down below with your songs and your albums that you are just jamming to. Uh, so let's kick it off now with Crowder and American Prodigal. Crowder is back in a big way. This is probably my favorite Crowder album. I, he's got a bunch of them, but this has to be my favorite. Uh, for your youth room, you want to be playing Keep Me, uh, Run Devil Run, uh, Prove It, Shouting Ground, all of these. A lot of these got that stomp. It's got that kind of that rhythm stomp. It's, he's always crossed over between that kind of bluegrass, country rock kind of thing. Boy, he does a great job on it. Uh, he's got people like Tadashi on there uh, rapping along with him. All kinds of good stuff on this album. Uh, as far as worship goes, now, this is his sweet spot, of course. He, he leads worship, and I got to see him several years ago uh, in concert. and does an amazing job. Songs you want to be looking at is things like My Victory, Prove It, uh, Forgiven, as kind of a, uh, a meditation song. It's kind of something you kind of sit there and process through, right? Worship is not just about singing, but when we talk about worship, you can talk about it just from a just kind of sit and process, you know, and, and say, Lord, what does this mean to be forgiven in my life? Uh, also, All My Hope and All We Sinners, all great songs you want to consider maybe for your playlist. Uh, if you don't have a band, these are all great songs you might be able to use. Uh, put the songs, uh, put the lyrics up on the screen and let your kids kind of sing along. For Bible study, uh, there's Prove It, which is, you know, a, a great song. You get kids just engaged, say, hey, look, prove it, prove it, right? Uh, Shepherd, which is, uh, you can focus on uh, Psalm 23, Jesus being the great shepherd. And Praise the Lord, which I think is the hit of the album because he really goes into detail here. He really expresses a... Uh, uh, a hope or a struggle or something he's been processing through, which talks about God is bigger than our imagination. Like God is bigger than what we make him to be. And boy, our students need to hear that. Our students need to know that God is bigger than our imagination. He's not just a God of rules. He's not just a God of, of uh, do this, not that. But he's got bigger than our imagination, full of grace and power and love. And it becomes a great song to kind of focus on what do you think or who do you think God is versus how much bigger he is than our imagination can go. And then finally, if you're looking for a uh, arts type of song, Back to the Garden has some potential in there to be a drama of some kind. Uh, there's some very first person, maybe Adam talking kind of thing that you could use in your ministry. And also for the altar time, uh, I would use All My Hope. All My Hope is a, is a fantastic song, uh, which would really just say, hey guys, where's your hope at? Come to the altar, kneel at your chair and pray, whatever it may be, whatever you ask, whatever your altar time looks like or your commitment time looks like, this becomes a great call to action to say, look, put your hope in Christ. Second album for the day is Love and the Outcome, and these are the days. Lift your lights in the dark. Now, this is a pure pop album. If you're looking for a pop album, this is it right here. And uh, they're very good. Uh, this is my first uh, exposure to them, and they do a super job. Some of the songs you want to put on there, uh, Strangers, uh, The God I Know, These Are the Days, and uh, Ends of the Earth, all great songs to play on the playlist there. Uh, for Worship, Hear From You is a very, very good song. Um, for Bible Study, I recommend The God I Know. It's very Taylor Swifty. It will You will hear in there, I don't know if it's the riff, I don't know if it's what it is, but it feels very Taylor Swifty. Not necessarily a bad thing, because I mean, I mean, who doesn't want to, you know, take a little bit of Taylor Swift and put them in, put it her in her, their music? Uh, but you could use this song. Say, look, the God I know, right? The confidence and using that as a Bible study type of thing. Say, look, who's the God you know? Who is this God that you know? You uh, the world sees God one way, but this is the God I know. Not only from just personal experience, but from Scripture. And uh, you can really, really play that out and help kids digest that a little bit more and say, look, this is the God I know, and that gives me confidence moving forward towards the future. Um, last but not least is Torin Wells and his album, Undefeated. Undefeated. There's no stopping us. Undefeated. Now, 
Undefeated is an EP. It has about four songs on there. Uh, but you play, the whole album is just blaring with just beats and joy and fun, and it's something you want to put on there. Uh, on, on the Bible study, though, there is a good lyrics video for the song Love is Action, which I think could be a great theme song for uh, a missions trip or for maybe a service project you're doing in your community. Uh, but the whole album is just a fun pop album. Lots of good beats, lots of good energy there. Something you want to put uh, when you're driving across somewhere, taking the kids down to you know Taco Bell or wherever you may be going. It's just fun, fun to put in there. Uh, but Torrin Wells does a great job on this. I totally recommend it. Uh, and finally, last but not least, I don't know how this escaped me, but I'm going to go back and rewind a little bit. <laughs> Uh, and finally, last but not least, I don't know how this escaped me, but I'm going to go back uh, and rewind a little bit into the middle of the summer, where Capital Kings came out with a single. Yeah, yeah. Ain't, ain't no way I'm slowing this down. If you see me coming through, then just know it's about to get loud. Okay, I'm called I Can't Quit. I don't know how I did, how I avoided this, but uh, Capital Kings' I Can't Quit is pretty cool stuff. Once again, this is just pure... You know, maybe this becomes a great theme song for game night or uh, or just for a motivational, if you want to put together some sort of motivational video uh, about not quitting as a Christian, this becomes a great anthem for that. And so I totally recommend that as well. But that's it for today, guys. Appreciate you guys being here on The Drop with me. Uh, once again, tell me, what are you listening to? What is in your ears these days? Leave me some comments down below. would love to hear about it. And also, if you're not a subscriber to this channel, you're brand spanking new, thanks for hanging out. Be a part of this uh, movement we have here to get to 1,000. You can click the subscribe button right here. Here and if you get videos like this in your inbox on a regular basis. Also, if you're a regular, thank you so much for checking out the show. I hope that you're using some of these. Let me know, have you used any of these suggestions? Have you used any of these in your youth ministry? I'd love to hear about it. It would bless me if you would tell me if you have done that. And uh, I appreciate you guys. Have a great week, everybody. And I'll see you guys next time on The Drop. Later, guys. All my life, I've had questions.